Peace of Christ to everyone. I made this video actually as an answer for somebody regarding from where Muslims they get their prayer. And the fact, if you look over the Quran, you will never see in the Quran the God of Islam saying how to pray. All of us we knew that Muslims they have to bend down to a specific direction, their head touching the ground, their butt is up. Now, if you look at this, those are a bunch of guys, you know. Maybe some will say, okay, this is, uh, you know, this is the maximum respect you can give to God. Uh, you know, first, first, you know, we need to remember that Muslims, they consider themselves as slaves to Allah. But before that, we have to ask ourselves, from where Muhammad, he brought this kind of a prayer? If his God never told him to pray this way, who did taught him this prayer? Uh, some Muslims might say the the angels, like the angel is a is a is a man. He was bowing down, showing his butt like this. What do you mean the angel he taught him? Did he give him a verse? If he gave him a verse, show it to me. Nothing. So the God of Islam, he did not forget to make a verse in the Quran cursing the uncle of Muhammad and his wife. He did not forget to make a verse about Muhammad can have sex with any woman he want. He did not forget to make verse about uh, cursing the Jewish and the Christians and calling names to people, you know, etc. But he forgot to make a verse about the most important part in Islam, which is praying. And as you know, in Islam is not like the other religion. In Islam, you have to do specific prayer, which mean, like, uh, you know, if you go, uh, like for me as a Christian, I don't have to do any kind of those movement to pray to God. In Islam, no. If you don't do that, you are not praying. If you don't do this movement, you, you are not praying. So, from where Muhammad he got this prayer? If you remember before, I showed you the black stone picture. The black stone, as we remember, I told you in my old video, that the black stone is used to be an idol for the women vagina for many Arab tribes who used to worship the vagina of the women as a starter for life like those people do not know how they've been created except a man or a baby is coming out of a, a vagina so those people they used to worship the sexual part of the women as God and they made the black stone as an idol for them and we know and we remember uh, uh, that Muhammad himself he kissed the black stone if you ask Muslims why he kissed it they will say because it's a holy stone it's, a stone is holy and why this stone look like a woman vagina? Look with me. And why he kiss it? And why it is attached to the Kaaba? And why are people used to walk naked? I showed you many hadith. You can go to my old videos and read it. And why men, even after Muhammad, their penis used to drop a, 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 a sperm? after doing Hajj or during doing Hajj so what the idea of this and you know if you go to Surah Al-Hajj Surah 22 you will see even in the explanation of Ibn Kathir that Muhammad he bowed down to this stone just being a hypocrite lying to those people who or maybe he's a believer I have no idea but in any way what we know that he did bow down to it he did kiss it and this black stone is a woman vagina now those people used to pray how they used to pray this is is going to be the answer to show us the root of Islamic prayer at that time the prayer is not just normal prayer it is a sexual prayer and actually until now the Islamic prayer is a sexual prayer and look with me and please we are not making fun of anyone just watch and Think with me. So, you know, we will show you in this video 
many 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 Islamic widows guys supposedly they are praying by the way uh, but you know for me they don't look like praying they are praying I, I you know they look like a bunch of gays touching the butt of each other but anyway uh, uh, I will show you how Arab women today and when we say Arab we are talking about only Arab not Egyptian not someone is a Jordanian or someone is a Syrian or someone is an Iraqi Arab are people who live in the Gulf the real Arab not the fake one by name you know so you will see that those people their dance is the same way as Islamic prayer and this dance is their culture it is it is copied by generation by you know for hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of years it was exist before Islam and continues after Islam and you will see that Muhammad he copied his prayer from them watch with me and tell me what do you think if I am wrong or right and you will see as I see that the Islamic prayer roots is a sexual religion is been stolen from the dance or the prayer for the private part of the women the vagina and those people who used to worship the vagina before Islam and they used to worship sex before Islam watch with me and ask yourself those Arab women and those Arab men who they are enjoying this dance are they really dancing or this is sexual ceremony and don't worry it's going to be generated nothing bad but it's bad in the same time thank you